Hi, Electro folks. Before going into the video, I request everyone to subscribe our channel and support us. In this video, I will be covering the overview of computer network. Why we need a computer network? Yes, it provides the best way of communication. You can share many kinds of files, media, etc. In a best way, we can say that it is a bond that holds us all together to run day-to-day -day operations smoothly. Now, what is computer network? It is just a system that connects two or more computing devices for transmitting and receiving information. Best scenarios I can tell you is connecting n number of people through video call, streaming the videos, chat with instant messages, or random stuff that we access in internet. Here, we will be covering about the different network topologies. Network topologies? What is topologies then? Topologies is nothing but interconnected pattern of network elements. Interconnected patterns in the sense, here pattern is nothing but these are referred as links. Element, element is the devices connected for communication. These forms the nodes to form the network topologies. Here are different network topologies available for us. Bus topology, ring topology, loop topology, and mesh topology. We will be covering about the different network types also, like LAN, WAN, Internet, and also about the switching technologies. Here is the OSI model presenter. There are seven layers in the OSI model, where the first layer is physical layer, second layer being data link layer, third layer network layer, fourth layer is the transport layer, fifth layer is the session layer, sixth layer is presentation layer, and finally the seventh layer is the application layer. Here we are going to cover about what is data link layer. We will be in detail seeing about what is data link layer, how can we address this layer, what are all the protocols followed to transmit and receive communication in this layer, and also we will see about the different media access control. Next, we will be seeing about the network layer. We will be having a small brief introduction about the network layer and the service provided by the network layer. We will also cover about the different protocols followed in this layer. We will be seeing about unicast routing. Next is our transport layer. The introduction and the service part of the transport layer will be covered and also we will be seeing about the different protocols followed in this transport layer. Next is the final layer, application layer. What is application layer? What are all the services provided by this application layer? How can the communication take place in this application layer? What are, what are all the protocols or rules followed in this layer? And we will finally be covering about what is FTP and what is electronic mail. Interested to know the content? Stay tuned for the series. Thank you.